Hello beautiful people and welcome, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I transform my hair from straight to curly by the grace of God. My hair will revert. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. So let's get right into the video. This is me. I would say this is about two and a half week old hair. It's really, really, really dirty and it's in desperate need of a wash. And first things first, I'm gonna start off with water and pray that my hair reverts as much as possible with water alone. I am then of course gonna be going in with my OG shampoo, the love of my life, this shampoo. Okay, it's one of those shampoos you want to literally use all over your hair over and over again because it will not strip your hair and it's literally got so many great ingredients that are actually hair growth promoting and strengthening and just all around nutrient rich ingredients. So this kind of shampoo is the kind of shampoo you want to get literally throughout your hair and I'm just starting off with my first coat and I'm probably gonna show people I would say about three times because my hair was straight. And that was my first time really straightening my hair in a very long time. And I had so much product in my hair. So I was really desperate for my curls to come back. And as you can see, just from that first wash alone, you can see that my curls have actually started to revert really, really, really well. I'm then gonna go in the second time, of course, and because my hair is so long and thick, <laughs> I kind of have to do this in a two-step, in a like two-step process where I do the very front part of my hair and then I do the ends because, as I said, this shampoo, okay, guys, it has so many great ingredients that you actually want to put in your hair. It's not one of those shampoos that you're afraid of, you know, getting to your curls because it dries it out. It actually is so so juicy and so nice. I'm also gonna go in with my scalp massager, of course, because. You guys already know we must stimulate blood flow to the scalp if you do have any issues with alopecia or stubborn slow hair growth or even thinning hair i definitely recommend i definitely recommend scalp massages i'm then going to go in the third time super quick super quick and you can see how much my hair is like standing up like i love 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 that when you can actually see the foam because that shows that my hair is squeaky clean but not dry and just look at how my hair is looking like it's just like mwah. The curls have come back. The shampoo did its job. And we're gonna go in with the Tangle slay Slayer immediately after, just because when I put shampoo in my hair, I don't want my hair to kind of like dry out. I wanna at least put some conditioner and section away the part I'm not gonna use. And then go in with the detangling process. So this Tangle Slayer, the reviews speak for themselves. You guys already know I speak about this product all the time on my channel because it literally is a life changer quite literally if you're someone who spends hours and hours and hours in the shower struggling to tangle your hair this tangle slayer will save you so much time so much breakage and it will just help your hair feel like silk so that you can detangle in a breeze like just look at how quickly i'm able to work through my thick hair like guys my hair is so thick and i can work through my hair so quickly with this tangle slayer no other product does this i guarantee you i'm then going to rinse that out and I'm actually gonna be deep conditioning. Wait, look at those curls. Just look at them. <laughs> I'm gonna then be deep conditioning with the Ultimate Strength Intense Deep Conditioner Mask. And because I've just been using a lot of heat lately, I just wanna make sure that I have a good protein balance because when you do use heat, you can actually damage the hair protein in your hair. And I just wanna make sure that my curls are not like, destroyed <laughs> i want to make sure that they're replenished and this conditioner is also infused with so many great herbs that help to strengthen and just promote the overall health and vitality of your hair so i'm putting that in and guys you will see how good my hair looks after doing that i'm also going to be using a comb just because i want to work it in a little bit more but of course i always finger detangle first fingers first comb second on this channel, we do fingers first and comb second. So I'm just gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna rinse it out and you guys will see just how, oh, just look at my hair, just steep it. It's literally, it's so good. Like the way these products make my hair feel, guys, I feel like the reviews speak for themselves, but also <laughs> you can see, you can literally see how shiny and lovely my hair is looking. And I'm just gonna just use um, my microfiber towel and then proceed to do a 
braid out. I've not done a braid out in a very, 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 very long time. If you guys don't know already, I only really do stretched hairstyles on this channel. I don't ever like wash my hair and then allow my hair to completely shrink up. I never, never do that. I do some kind of style immediately after washing my hair, whether it's a braid out, or a blowout. So for this braid out, I'm going to be doing a total of six braids all over my hair. And I'm also going to be using, of course, my favorite leave-in and extra strength hair strengthening oil from Aminara, just to make sure that this braid out can literally last for like three weeks and you will not need to add any more moisture. This combo, honestly, guys, like when you use these products together, they allow your hair to be moisturized for such a long time so that you're not there like kind of wasting your time having to constantly add moisture. This braid out, I actually still have right now. I filmed this video like probably about three weeks ago and I still have this braid out in my hair and it's still moisturized I'm just being a bit lazy to like wash my hair out but guys when I say this is like the the name says it, it's the ultimate moisture leave-in and that leave-in topped with this oil honestly when you try it your hair will never be the same again so I always stand by this it's really, 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 really good for your hair. And you'll definitely see my results. So as I said, I'm gonna be doing a total of six braids just to make sure that my hair is fully stretched out. I don't like my hair being shrunk because it definitely adds to shrinkage and then tangles, which means more breakage. So I've gone ahead and done a braid out and I'm just gonna be sleeping with my headscarf just to make sure that you know my hair doesn't have too many flyaways. And yeah. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday and last night I did actually use the Rev Air to kind of dry my braids a little bit because I wanted to keep my hair out quicker than I normally would. So I've kept my hair in now for about three each days, but normally I leave it in for about four to five. And all I'm literally going to be doing is using my extra strength hair strengthening oil to unravel these braids. So let's get to it. I don't really want to disturb the, the kind of curl pattern too much, especially on the first day, because I really want my hair to last quite a long time. So probably an additional one week. So on the first day that I unravel these braids and twists, I really don't do too much because that will allow the style to set even more. I mainly just want to get rid of the partings that I have like in my hair versus the act affecting the actual braid out. But this is how my hair is looking. Super juicy, super defined, and just this kind of moisture will literally last me an additional week. This is how my hair is looking straight out of the braids. I will say my hair is not 100% dry, but I kind of wanted to release my braids a little bit sooner just because I had somewhere to be. But nevertheless, all I'm literally gonna be doing is stretching my hair and drying it a little bit. So as you can see, your girl got super shrinkage, like unreasonable. And obviously shrinkage is fine, but I kind of want a little bit of length. So I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer to especially the back sections of hair where it's, they're not really seen. So I'm not too bothered about definition. And all I'm gonna be doing is using my blow dryer, not the rare, of course, this one, and just kind of like holding my hair taut and stretching it out like that. So 
you can kind of see the difference on this side versus this side. So I got a few more, I would say maybe about an inch, maybe a bit more. And of course, over time, it's going to stretch and drop over the days that I'm going to be wearing it. So I'm just going to continue doing that. So this is how my hair is looking after I gave it a little bit of a stretch. I haven't really separated it much. I've just tried to get rid of the parting in the back of my head as much as I can. And all I'm literally gonna be doing is applying some more oil all over my head, especially now that I've used a bit of heat to make sure that my hair doesn't get dry. But for the most part, my hair is so moisturized like to the touch. It feels super juicy, super nice. And I literally love my hair. I've not worn a braid out in such a long time, but yeah, this is how my hair is looking. But thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.